Before I came here, I had really a low self-confidence. Um, after meeting like a lot of different people from different backgrounds, um, I'm more confident in talking to others and more confident in school, I guess. The Different But Equal Board is a group of young people that have naturally come together through their relationship with the organisations that they are being supported by. So initially, um, organisations within the consortium and within the borough, so a little bit wider than just the voluntary and community sector, including local authority uh, personnel, came together to look at furthering the voice and influence of children and young people within the borough. Well, in the future for Rotherham, I want to see everyone getting along. I mean, more diversity, more equality, more like community stuff. Because I think everyone's got their own little lives and they don't realise that together is what it's all about. Like we need more people getting involved in community work, helping each other out, not for any money or gain, just, just to be good people. I just want to see everyone doing well in Rotherham. There are approximately 28 young people who are involved in the Different But Equal Planning Board and this board has been meeting to plan a young people's event uh, stemming from around 15 to 20 organisations including um, Looked After Children's Council and the Youth Cabinet within the local authority as well as young inspectors within the local authority. Children and young people came together and said that they wanted to share issues and experiences affecting them. They wanted to have an event where they could come together as young people, where they could have fun, where they could celebrate diversity and difference, where they could gain information about services specifically for them, and to give a little bit of pride in Rotherham and pride in young people, because as we are aware, Rotherham has had quite a negative um, image. Well, what I got from this personally is, I guess, an understanding uh, how youth, the voice of the youth in Rotherham can actually make a difference. Like before, like you assume you don't really know anything, you don't really do anything until your mid-20s, 30s and you've got a voice, but to go in there and see diversity and all, all different people coming together and then what you say actually, it means something, something's getting done. Young people knowing that they can have a future here and staying here instead of you know, moving down south to London and, and, and looking elsewhere to live because they don't think that Rotherham can give them a future when it can. And hopefully more of them will see that and stay here. I'm more comfortable with talking to people. Um, I seem a lot happier personally. I've got a reason to get up in the morning. It, personally, it makes me a bit more confident talking to new people as I'm very shy at first. So it's really good to get used to seeing new people all the time, making conversation with them and you know, asking the important questions about like what they're like and who they are as people and what they're really interested in and passionate about. There are different things we'd like to achieve as a result of the event. The process of young people coming together as a diverse group and planning the event has been productive in itself, giving them a voice sharing different experiences, integrating different groups of young people. So one of the achievements has been actually the planning process itself, which has empowered young people and given them lots of different skills. Uh, I think it's been extremely enriching. It's been very interesting to see the different perspectives of the different parts of Rotherham. Obviously, we're quite a diverse group, so it's been very fulfilling to see that. Like we have little discussions and then we go away and then come back and stuff gets done and it's just a good feeling to know you're making a difference. The best thing for this so far has been to like show that the young people in Rotherham um, can have their own opinion and to um, share their opinions um, and to have a purpose. I'm doing some activities in the event and if I didn't really know who I was working with I wouldn't be so confident of doing it and I probably wouldn't do it. But not because I do know who I'm working with, I'm more confident that I can do it.
As you can see, uh, we're at Carlton Park Hotel today and it's actually happening. There's a lot of um, more than expected young people that uh, came, joined. This event today has been fully organised and planned by young people. The aim of the event is for young people to be able to share their views about Rotherham. What it's like to be a young person growing up in Rotherham and what could be better. It is a chance for young people to get their views across. There is a marketplace of services that enable young people to learn about support groups and projects that are there to help them. Also a further opportunity to have their voice heard about services. It is not only a day for, though about work, it is about young people having the opportunity to have fun. There are games, magicians and a chance to learn new skills, for example, African drumming and street dance. We want everyone to enjoy the day and for everyone to see what can be achieved when a group of young people work together. In Rotherham, listening to them can make, help make things better. What we have learned through the process of young people coming together is that the quietest voice is as important as the loudest voice. Just because someone doesn't tell their story doesn't mean they don't have a story to tell. As well as that, we would like to become the point of call for services when they want to hear what young people have got to say because we've got a truly diverse group of young people here. And as Teresa said from the beginning, every voice, no matter how loud or quiet, deserves to be heard. This team, um, a different but equal team, uh, have led on this agenda. I'm extremely proud of the work of Teresa Brocklehurst and all of you on the steering group uh, for bringing this to the fore. And I think there's so much that we can be proud of as a community in Rotherham. Um, and the future is in children and young people. And that's why the members and the council has committed to being a child centre borough, child friendly borough, whatever you want to call it. You know, we are putting children and young people at the heart of everything that we do. Okay? The heart of everything that we do. And that means hearing your voice. <laughs> A lot of young people don't get heard to that often, it's all about what other people want. What other people want might not be what we want. So if we get involved, then that would be better for us and we can, like, we can help Rotherham to be a better place. Uh, for young people, I think, to realise that they can be whatever they want to be. If we can lift the lid from their aspirations and raise their aspirations uh, and encourage young people to strive to be the best that they can be, because I think young people are brilliant, everyone's got something to offer. And I think if people can leave this event with a sense of I can be whatever I want to be, um, I think that will be a fantastic outcome. Well, I think today is a prime example of how we can have that bit of responsibility. We're not all stood on street corners with hoods up outside shops. We're here, we're trying to do good for the betterment of all the other young people in Rotherham. And I think the fact that we've had this bit of uh, responsibility and the opportunity to have the responsibility. And I think so far we're shining for it and I'm really proud of everybody. And I knew there'd be a lot of people attending, but today it's sort of exceeded my expectations really. Um, it's just been really nice chatting to so many young people that seem really engaged and interested in what we offer. And how have you found the event so far? Excellent. Well, very well. Uh, organized, very, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I've seen all the young people, they are also enjoying thoroughly. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's a lot different than what I expected. The general atmosphere and the energy is just positive. And I just, I'm proud of that we've got all these different communities together to talk about issues that are important to young people. And I do think the feedback that we're going to get, I think we can really make a difference with it. When practitioners are working with young people and trying to gather young people's voice, having a board of young people that can get such a diverse range 
of opinions, um, I really feel that it's going to make so many things better. From the beginning, uh, one of the important things for me was confidence um, and I think working with all these um, young people and people that I didn't even know um, made me more confident and also um, interviewing, uh, working with um, cameras and how to actually approach people in a completely different way and it's just amazing. Really good. Yeah. Will we'll, um, love doing all the crafts yeah. and um, all the activities, what we did yeah. and that. And you? Um, very good and I enjoyed talking to all the different people, what yeah. they had. Yeah. It's been quite nerve wracking but it's been fun. Yeah. Uh, actually running a workshop was really useful because it's not yeah. something I'd necessarily done before so actually having to sort of control people, get them to actually do the task, not talk too much, that was really interesting, sort mm -hmm. of useful. Do you think this event uh, can make any difference for Rotherham in the future? Yeah, because uh, it's bringing people in the community together to like communicate <laughs> and like. <laughs> that Rotherham isn't just the negative press. It's about young people who are bright, intelligent, articulate, and have got something to say and have got a contribution to make to how they shape Rotherham and the future of Rotherham. So it's, it's been really great to be a part of that. It's been a real privilege to hear their voice at last. What's been your favourite part of the event? Um, listening to everyone's views on things like safety in Rotherham and how safe they feel. Mm -hmm. well, I think the whole day has been special. Um, from the consultation activities to the street dance performance, to the fact that the Director of Children and Young People Services came and opened the event alongside myself and the Different But Equal Board. The way the Different But Equal Board members have facilitated today, facilitated the consultation workshops, facilitated the workshops around Child Friendly Borough, um, the way they have managed the whole day alongside staff and myself has been fantastic. I couldn't pick one element, I think the whole day has been brilliant. It's alright saying that we hear people, but actually doing something with that is a different matter. Um, and I think the different but equal is going to ensure that that happens going forward. But Rotherham's known for the wrong reasons. I want to be known for the right reasons. I want more events to happen. I want people to, like, stuff like this. I want more, like, stuff like this to happen. The young people's voice is probably the most important voice of Rotherham. End of day, I know it's old, it's happening all the time, but the young people are the future. And in the state that Rotherham has been portrayed these last few years, it's going to be the young people that change how we're portrayed throughout the country. So our voice is definitely the most important.